We are joined right now by uh, Hillary Kennedy. Hillary, welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Just a few minutes until uh, the four-minute buzz. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll be watching for you on that. But you've been following this Netflix uh, subscription situation with the cuties. Now, I I was just reading an article where, I don't know, they lost 300,000 subscribers. Is that all they lost in this? So this is pretty crazy. Their cancellations surged by 800%. That's so, good. Yeah, a data analytics firm, it's called Antenna and Yippie Data, they said they have seen such a serious drop in subscribers. They lost five times as many subscribers in September, just days after people started protesting online about cuties. Mm-hmm. Um, so the September cancellations, they were eight times of those in August. And Netflix is still standing by the film. Yeah, it's still on there. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're not, but it's it's still on Netflix. Well, and so. interestingly enough, they talked did about how many. Did you cancel too? I did cancel. Yeah, I did too. I have not missed it. Um, but uh-huh. I will say they they count someone as watching one of their programs if you've watched for two minutes. All you have to watch is two minutes, and they count it as a view. Mm-hmm. So they were saying like, well, we had all these views on the film. Well, I'm sure you did because two minutes in, people were so horrified and disgusted they turned it off. Right. But they yeah. are sticking by the film. Another thing that they're about to do that has people really upset is they are going to be releasing a series on Colin Kaepernick called Colin in Black and White. Oh, so a lot of people are really upset about that and going, why oh, would you do man. this on the heels of the cuties controversy? Oh. So we'll see how they fare after they air that. Yeah, I thought wow. you were right. Originally, you said that they would Netflix would ride the cuties publicity. And after a few days of the controversy, pull it. They didn't. I, I really thought they would because yeah. there was so much pressure. And even though you'll read online, it sounds like it was just conservative groups. It wasn't. It was people mm-hmm. from both sides yeah. of the aisle were oh, just really, really disturbed. So this seems like a real commitment to child porn. That's admirable, right. isn't it? Isn't yeah. that admirable? Yeah. That's yeah. Just and, it, and it's nice to see <laughs> that both the left and the right can still agree that child exploitation is Thank wrong. you. Wow, we have one thing We got left. one issue, maybe. So, well, it does, it does show that, you know, put your money where your mouth is, and if you don't want to support something, don't pay for it, and yeah. they will pay the price. So I'd love to know what the exact number of uh, law subscriptions was. I'd love to know that number, but they don't release it, yeah. right? Wasn't they're, they're there not gonna something tell that shows that they, like, um, in the previous months leading up, they had, like, 10 million new subscribers, 15 million, and then 2 million? It was a huge drop. Well, and what's interesting is they're trying to paint it as, look how many subscriptions we gained this year during the Mm -hmm. beginning of the pandemic, because they did gain a lot of new subscribers in the beginning. Yeah. But they've lost so many here at the end, and they are really trying not to focus on that. They blew it. Yeah. Mm. But I do have some good news. Oh. Also, I mean, these are both really two good news stories as far as exploitation and sex trafficking go. Uh Okay. I don't know if you heard about this guy, Keith Ranieri. He started a group called Nexium. It was really, it started off as like a, a self improvement group that a lot of Hollywood celebrities, big CEOs would go to. It was just to kind of help you clear your mind and uh, get rid of some old hang ups, that kind of thing. Hmm. But it evolved into a sex cult. Oh. Where he. <laughs> How lovely. Yeah. He <laughs> was. Taking these women, forcing them into sex acts with him, forced labor. He was branding them with hot pokers with his initials. I seriously did not hear this story until the conviction came down. Like, what is this? It is a crazy thing. So the New York Times is the one that actually kind of exposed that this was going on back in 2017. And he had some kind of high profile people as part of this group. And one of his recruiters that was kind of helping bring women into this cult was a girl named Allison Mack. And she was a fairly well-known actress from the hit TV show Smallville, if you remember that. It was about Superman. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he... (laughs) An angle of the story that you didn't hear a lot about, you heard that there were women involved in this sex cult, but one of them, maybe more, was a 15-year-old girl when he was 45 years old. She was a Mexican national, and he forced she and her sisters (sighs) into sex slavery. He had one of them locked up for 21 months, uh, unable to leave. It's just the most bizarre Mm. story. But the good news is he was finally convicted uh, just this week. He got 120 years in federal prison. And he'd actually been waiting for his conviction in the exact same prison that Jeffrey Epstein died in, oh, very fittingly. Well, oh, yeah. wow. So, at Jeez. least... Does he have dirt on the Clintons, this guy? 
<laughs> you never know. I mean, they're really, it's interesting because there were some very powerful people that were part of this group initially with the, the self-help angle. I don't know how many mm. were involved in the sex cult other than Mr. Ranieri and a lot of women, but he definitely has a lot of dirt on people. Oh. So many of the celebrities have distanced themselves. They've said, oh, I only went to one meeting, that kind of thing. But mm. there were a lot of high profile people so involved how, with him. How do people get away with this for so long? How does it take so long for this to come out? It's really amazing, isn't it? I, I think he had, I, one of the things that he did is he made the, the women that were involved in this subset of his cult give up collateral. So he made them take naked photos and have compromising uh, videos so that he had wow. this information on them. So if they tried to leave or report it, he would threaten yeah. to release that information. And the name of the mm. group was Nexium? I mean, I take that for heartburn. What is, Nexium. <laughs> seriously, I do. I mean, what is this? Nexium, yeah. Well, how, how does he get that name? Uh, oh. He, he it, was very, he was a like self-proclaimed genius. Yeah, yeah, so he had a lot of Latin names for these different subsets oh, of his gosh. groups. But there's two documentaries that are out right now about it. HBO has one called The Vow, and then Stars has one called Seduced. And so people are kind of fascinated with how he was able to get away with this because it started yeah. in the early, I think the earlier mid 90s and it's mm -hmm. just now so, come to light and he's been convicted so he's wow led a sex cult and he's a know-it-all with the with the name of the group yes with and i i another big name too that's still awaiting trial that that girl allison mack that was the actress she's still awaiting her sentencing but the heiresses of the seagram's fortune i mean they're billionaires they were also involved and one of them was sentenced to seven years in prison for being involved in helping recruit other women see that's so sad it's just mm. like with jeffrey epstein mm -hmm. it's always a woman that it helps mm -hmm. bring right. in yeah. victims. Yeah. That's just yep. tragic, man. Really sad. Very bizarre. But good news that he has been sentenced to 120 yeah. years. Yeah, and no possibility of parole, or is there? He, he of course, he's appealing, and you know, yeah. said he didn't get a fair shake. But mm. <clears throat> yeah, mm. I, I think he's going to be put away for a very long time. Yeah.